Okay, Leo, we got the King of Cups. The Moon reversed. And then we got the world reversed. I feel like there could be somebody who may have feelings for somebody, but they may be keeping it to themselves, Leo. But I feel like this some of y'all it could be, like I said, it could be you. Maybe you do have feelings for somebody, but you could be your intuition could be telling you something about this person you know, is off, or maybe you feel into what you could be telling you to hold them back a little bit, you know, wait it out a little bit, because we got the king of cups right here, something is, is pulling you back, you know, from expressing yourself to this person, and you know what's crazy, your intuition is going to be on point, because we got the moon card reversed, y'all going to end up finding out something about this person, Leo, that you could be um, dealing with, and I feel like even though somebody found out, there could be somebody that really don't want it to end. We got the world reverse. Whether this is you not really wanting to end Leo with this person, or they may not um, want it to end with you. But something gonna happen where you got feelings for somebody and something just kept telling you. I keep hearing Chingy pulling me back. So something kept telling you that it was something that wasn't right with this person or not to express how you feel right now. Because sometimes somebody about to be exposed. Somebody about to be exposed or somebody could be flat out, you know, saying how they feel. But the other person... I don't know. It could be the other way around, but we're going to see. I feel like something is being let known. What else, do? And I did pull four um, regular cards over there out the basket, so I'm going to pull those at the end. And then if it ties into the situation, then it may resonate. If not, they can leave it out. What else? Yeah, something pulling you back about this person. It's your intuition telling you to hold back how you feel about this person, you know. We got the tower reverse. And I feel like it was bound. This this was meant to happen. So some of y'all are gonna end up ending it with this person, Leo, after you find something out. Um, Leo. We got the sun. Some of y'all may have found out that they just literally went back to a a baby mom or they left a baby mom or something like that, or a baby dad. We got the Queen of Wands. We're gonna see. Yeah, I feel like your person could be, was running away from another person. And they was trying to use you as somebody to fall back on, Leo. Yeah, I strongly feel like that. Because where they was at, you know, they just wasn't happy. Some of you guys, this person probably recently, you found this person just recently gave birth to a child or their baby mom did. You know, and they turned around and left them. But I am getting this energy. Your person still going to come back around when they pull back up, like come back around or whatever. Y'all may not be happy to see them because what it is that you found out about them. But this person going to want to hold on to you still because they're still attracted to you, Leo. Queen of Wands right here. Yeah, y'all going to find out something about this person. And you're not going to be happy, you know, because I feel like you do have feelings for this person. You know, you caught feelings for this person. It's like, dang, out of nowhere, somebody told you something or you seen something or found out about something. And it's like, dang, the whole time your person, as soon as you wanted to, open up to them it's like it's like you find this out and bang your person just was really running from somebody to um and use you as a crutch like somebody to fall back on basically you know and like i said some of y'all's person probably didn't just had a child by the other person and everything and it's like they left their left that person their their person to kick it with you you see what i'm saying Ten of Pentacles. Some of y'all's person definitely do have a family situation going on, you know, and that could be the reason why you mad because it's like the minute you get ready to open up, it's some BS, right? It's a, it's some BS, and I feel like that could be the, the reason why you upset when they come back around. And some of y'all still is attracted to this person or whatever, but I just felt like you just don't like the simple fact that what you just found out, you know, was real, was true. We got the will. So 
Okay, we got the Page of Pentacles reverse. You know what's crazy? Your person literally felt like you was a blessing when you was in their life. Or this could be you. Maybe when you met this person, Leo, they was mad, cool, y'all was kicking it. You fell in love with this person or whatever. And, you know, you felt on top of the world. You felt like you had you felt like you had what you needed. A blessing, right? You gave this person a chance. But I am getting this energy. Some of y'all gonna end up, you know, giving in and allowing this person to you know, give this person a chance anyways. Even after the fact you found out about their situation with their child's mother or child's father. Some of y'all going to end up giving this person another chance because, like I said, you was going to give them another risk because you felt like this was your everything. This was a blessing and y'all supposed to be together. But we got the Page of Pentacles reversed, which is not a good thing. And then we got the Knight of Cups. So... Now, this could be their energy of asking you to give them a chance after you found out about leaving their baby mom or baby dad for you or whatever, right? They could be asking you to take that chip, to, to, to take that risk with them. You know what I'm saying? Um, but y'all going to end up rejecting them. Some of y'all going to end up rejecting them because maybe you found out this person is a player. Um, you feel like this person really don't have anything to give because not only that, maybe you feel like they got a kid and they need to be, they need to be worried about and need to be taken care of, especially if they have like a, a newborn to a toddler child. I feel like they do. And now it's like you rejecting them after you finding this out, they could be trying to explain themselves or maybe even gift you something or apologize. Y'all just take what applies, you know, because I just felt like your person recently did leave that person and they just had a child by that person or they have a small child by that person we all and you just felt like all their money that they got if they got money was going to be going to that child it just gave birth to you see what i'm saying you know but y'all just take what applies because i feel like a lot of y'all feel like y'all could just be wanting to focus more on yourself after the simple fact that you found out this person had just had a baby by somebody and then turned around and used you as a way to fall back on you know after they left them but we're going to see we're going to see. Yeah, this person is very much attracted to you. But some of y'all could be rejecting them because you just felt like you're a player. You don't have really much to offer me because you just had a baby. You know what I'm saying? Three of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this person may be jobless. I just felt like you don't want anything to do with this person because they, you know, this person, you feel like this person ain't no good. You, you feel that way, you know? And um, it's like this person is still trying to explain themselves. They're still trying to apologize to you. To be honest, your person could, first they may just tell you what they what you want to hear, right? Just in order to get you back. But then it's like the more you reject this person, the more they like desperately want you. You know what I'm saying? They, they start to feel bad, basically. Page of cuts. This person starts to feel bad because I feel like they should have told you or something like that. You know what I'm saying? We got the 10 a sword, but they don't want it to be over with you, Leo. This person does have a little bit of feelings for you, though. They really do. They got a little bit of feelings for you. You know what I'm saying? But they just not ready to end it with you. For some reason, they just don't want you to go. I strongly feel that way. I feel like your person just, they don't want you to go, Leo. They don't. And like I said, we got boyfriend right here. So some of y'all probably was in a relationship with this person. You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all probably was in living with this person and everything. Or maybe y'all planned on coming together to move in with this person. Some of you guys met this person at work, um, Leo. But I'm getting y'all had a lot of fun with this person. Y'all was even getting hot with this person. We got getting blazed. Like, y'all really thought this was the one, right? That's the energy that I'm picking up on. I feel like y'all, maybe y'all did made it official or y'all was about to make it official or you was about to make it official, especially if you're the man in the situation and you was really about to tell this person how you really feel, you know, or whatever. But I don't know. It could be the other way around because I do feel like somebody do got a small child. Like they just recently had a kid with somebody and they left them with the kid. And it's like, bang, as soon as somebody find out after they was about to express themselves, it's like, dang, some more BS. Like, are you serious? But we're going to keep, keep it going. 
Yeah, your person is trying to like literally gift you something, Leo. Some of y'all's person could be pulling up with flowers because I did get that. If not a, a, a gift, and maybe still could be trying to give you gifts, Leo. But they don't want it to end because they look at you as a gift. They look at you as somebody special. They look at you as somebody who is very much valuable, you know, in their life, Leo. And they, they feel like you a blessing to them. I'm going to be real. This person looks sees your worth. They feel like you are worthy of something special. And they want to make you their main female. And they want to make you or their main male. They want to make you their main, Leo. You know? Because they know that you are... You mean a lot to them. Put it like that. You mean a lot to this person more than you probably even realize. And it's crazy because it's like you was holding back how you feel. And then as soon as you find out about they situation with another person, dang, that had you thinking differently. But your person is going to put up a fight. This person ain't going to give up on you, Leo. They actually feel bad about not telling you. They feel bad about it, Leo. They really do. They feel bad about it. Because I feel like it's either one, y'all did make it official and you found out all about this. Or for two, you was about to make it official with this person or you was about to open up to this person, Leo, and tell them how you really feel until all this BS. But like I said, your person do feel bad because they don't want you to get away. They, they really don't, you know. But like I said, you feel like they got other responsibilities. Like I said, a, a, um, a kid. And that could be the reason why you could be rejecting this person. Or was rejecting them. Because some of y'all, I don't know. Maybe you are going to take them. I don't know. But we're going to see. If this person do look at you as somebody pretty much deserves the world. They feel like you deserve a lot more than what they have gave. And um, I feel like they just, they, I don't know why they didn't tell you. But we got some of y'all could be letting this person go. No matter what they give you. Some of y'all could be letting this person go, Leo. We got the four of pentacles. Or this could just be them giving you something um after leaving somebody but king of wands reverse dang y'all gotta be um this in this person five of pentacles wow yep y'all gonna let this person go because you feel like for one they ain't really got much for two you feel like they got responsibilities on their hands and for three i just feel like you just you you don't feel like it's safe to deal with this person knowing they got baby mama you don't you don't want that drama you don't want all that that comes with this person leo and and that could be the reason why you may not, you may, you may let this person go, you know, and, um, you just felt disrespected. Some of y'all felt very much disrespected in this situation, um, Leo. And it's crazy because the more you push away this person, they're going to go back to the other person. I strongly feel that way. Some of y'all, this person ain't going to have no choice but to go back to the other person because I feel like you dissing them. You really is. Yeah, you, you changing up. You switching up. We got the Eight of Cups shift change. Y'all switching the game, basically. Y'all switching the game. Now you're going to have this person all in their head and conflicted and feel like, you know, you got away and stuff. Wow, that's crazy. Y'all going to have this person all in their head, Leo. But like I said, y'all setting firm boundaries because you feel like this person got to give to another person and you just don't want to be in a mix of that. You don't want to come second, basically. You're nobody's second. That's what it is. You don't want to be nobody's second. You don't want to be, you know, you 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 feel like if this person got responsibilities and they just had a baby or whatever, you know, you won't be taken care of. You see what I'm saying? That's what y'all feel like. And that's what y'all want. Y'all want to be taken care of. Y'all want this person to be all about you and making you a priority. Not them having this and that and a third. You know what I'm saying? Because some of y'all probably don't want to date somebody with kids. And that could be one of your things that you don't do. Maybe you don't date people with kids. You know, some people do, some people don't. But that's what I'm seeing. We got receptiveness. Yeah, I just feel like a lot of y'all are going to end up accepting the situation for what it really is. Because you deserve better. You deserve more. We got gentleness. Yeah. I just feel like some of y'all felt like this person was a good person, though. Some of y'all felt like this person was a good person. Some of y'all felt like this person was. Some of y'all felt like the luckiest person alive dealing with this person, y'all. But you just got to feel like you feel like you got to accept, let this person go and, you know, accept it for what it really is. And just and, and move forward. Yeah, we got blame right here because maybe you feel like this person is just 
the problem. Some of y'all could be feeling like that person is most definitely the problem because they just messed up what y'all had going on. Like, literally, out of nowhere. You just don't want to be second. And I don't blame you. Y'all just don't want to be second. Y'all don't want to be... You want to be paid attention to. You don't want the person... You don't want no baby mama drama. You don't want none of that BS that come with it, basically. You just don't want that. So you're cutting it off. Signs from nature. And you kind of figured. That's probably why I, from the beginning I said your intuition was telling you to hold back how you feel, Leo. And you did the right thing. You did the right thing. Yep, it's time to ride out. It's done. It's over with. You're done. You have to. You have to. Because you don't want to be second. And you don't want no drama. You know, push and pull energy. Some of you guys... Maybe there could be some form of pushing this person away and then they keep trying you. Some of y'all's person is not giving up on you. It's, wow, y'all gonna stir something up in this person. Now you got this person going crazy. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here, Leo. I hope it resonates and y'all take care.